all. Now, a study by America's prestigious Yale University has found that babies can tell right from wrong at the age of six months. Researchers encouraged infants to choose between characters which they'd seen behaving badly or being well behaved, and found that even the tots aged six months overwhelmingly favored the good characters, rejecting the unhelpful naughty ones. So it seems that uh, uh, the very young know the difference between right or wrong, but how, how young do you think you were when you figured it out? Well, I think I was really young, but I think I figured it out by watching, because I was the youngest of eight children, by watching how much trouble they all got into. So <laughs> then I'd think, oh, I better not do that then. Because, like, Bernie and Linda, who were very, very close, but they were always fighting and always rowing. Mm. So I used to watch them get told off and think, I'm the good girl. I was really annoyingly good. <laughs> I was. I even want to slap myself. Um, but, you know, like, for instance, Bernie one time was playing because we used to have a real fire and she was playing with the poker. You know, my mum kept saying, Bernie, De Nolan, you're going to burn yourself. Put the poker down. It's a good impression of my mother. <laughs> and um, anyway, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't. And then my mum went into the kitchen next thing, po hot poker landed on Bernie's calf. Ooh. And um, she was so scared because she knew she was going to be, t well, she thought she was going to be mm. told off, and she went and hid up in the bathroom and locked the door. She still got a scar, actually, Bernie. From you that. see, you should have listened to mum. You should have listened to mum. Like so me. immediately, I thought I won't play with, I won't play with the poker, mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think that research is quite right, actually, because. Um, uh, kids seem to like me, and I'm not <gasps> particularly good, am I? No. <laughs> With kids. They do, they they do, do like you. you. That's like cats always they sit on the knees like of people who hate cats. What? I'm That's not what cats. cats. No, you're not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, in a way, though, I think, you know, you do always know the difference between right and wrong, however young you are. Mm. When I was about three years old, I used to live in, like, a big shopping street, and my local sweet shop was Woolworths. And um, at three years old, I used to go down to Woolworths and, and steal mouth organs. <laughs> <laughs> You can't have yes, gone in on three. My own. Yes, hey. absolutely. Yes, yes, you could. It was 1963. Morris, what, what does a three-year-old want with a mouth I know. organ? I, I mean, don't know. I think sweets. I was just fascinated by them. But in a way, I, when I was doing it, I suppose, and, and stashing them away, I used to hide them from my so mum. You, you did it more covered. than once. Yeah, <laughs> loads of them. <laughs> I must have known it was wrong, exactly, at, and at such a young age. But were you part of like a Fagan's harmonica gang? <laughs> <laughs> I did it in a little box. I'd get them out and I'd look at them and be very careful. How when did I you get found them. out? Did you get found out? Did yeah, I did. Out? I played one one day, and my mum came in and just so absolutely stash, stash. dragged me down to Woolworths with them all in tow and to, taking them back. So I, I did kind of know. That's probably what started the demise of that store. <laughs> 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 I, I must admit, I do. I, I kind of can see the sense in that that young babies do know the difference between right or wrong. One thing I, I, I don't necessarily agree with is that children are necessarily born good, good and then or bad, and then they, you know, they they go other way. Um, I think you know there are some intrinsically naughty children because they know the difference between good or bad and they do it anyway mm. you know the difference between you know you know the difference yeah. and you chose not to I knew the difference and chose not to until I was very much older mm. <laughs> but you do it for attention though I think kids especially do it for attention I'm sure I did it for attention I th yeah I think I was it was it was much later when I became naughty and rebelled I was really quite sort of conformist but all I remember is the difference between fear of my mum and, 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 and dad basically mum would probably shout and scream more and it would, mm. and, and, and one, one of the things that I used to do was sadly in the, in the olden days where I used to walk down our street and mum would always say if you're going to cross that road you ask somebody to help you across you just think now how lovely it would be if you still had that mm. faith in somebody but sometimes I would be too embarrassed to ask them because this is when the days when my mum always dressed me as a boy and I was sick of people going yeah I'll read Sonny if I asked them to go across the road they go I'm a girl like this all the time so I would just dart across the road my mum would hear and although she never smacked me hard she always did that thing where they do it and they were like and if you ever go yeah. across that road again <laughs> but I never used to fear my mum and yet one look from my dad mm. who was hardly like you know a disciplinarian really of the old now, school I but think that's one look at, I and, think that's something that's built in the, the damn what? thing because I was uh, the same thing my mum had a bamboo cane by the fireplace and you could hear it swishing around the house but you'd all <laughs> laugh and run away and really wind her up <laughs> it was great but my dad would just stand there and look at you yeah and I have to say I, I used to wipe myself <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I was so scared yeah but it's the same thing it's now it's so like scared. Kira now 
you know, I'm the one that tells Kira off the most, yeah. but yet she'll always go to me, don't tell Dad, don't, don't tell, tell Dad. Daddy, and he doesn't yeah. really shout at her or anything, just has to look at her and go, I'm really disappointed in you, Kira. And it's the end of our oh, world. Oh, it's that, I'm really disappointed. That's the <gasps> killer. That's much worse, isn't it? Oh, no, I mean, I can remember my mum chasing, it's funny, isn't it? It's all our mums chasing me around the same thing. Don't you be jiggy, <laughs> jump, jump, jump. And the funny thing, I was taller than her at the time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was, jip, jip, she was jumping over the bed in my room and I'm going, ooh, um, just like that. Um, but yeah, it was the same thing. Yeah. You wait till your father gets home. Nothing My mum had a bamboo cane, but they used to have twin beds, and it was for his snoring. And I just remember. <laughs> 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 Did you get one of them?